Now, let's get started. So as you can see, we have Photoshop open and we're going to use, or I'm going to use Photoshop CC 2017. I am lucky because I have a friend who works in, who works in uh, media production with, uh, with uh, what's it called, movies. And he has uh, the creative, uh, creative cloud, uh, the entire package. Uh, so I'm so I'm kind of hogging his hogging his account, but he's okay with it. So yeah, now let's get now let's get to it. In uh, Photoshop CC 2017, you're gonna get this uh, this menu for creating your your stuff, and it is going to look different depending on the version of Photoshop you have. And uh, this this is actually a wallpaper. Uh, a wallpaper size and this is this is why I, I, I like this is why I like this uh, Photoshop CC 2017 you, you can because you have all these uh, you can have these uh, custom things here and it, it, it was a little bit of a hassle before in the previous versions but this this time it's is really nice so th there, there are many different versions of, of wallpapers you can do. There are 4K wallpapers, there are uh, 1080p wallpapers, 2K wallpapers, and 3840 by 2160, that's for 4K displays. And uh, 1920 and 1080 is for the standard uh, resolution for computers that used to that was a standard now it's like 4k is going to be the standard soon but you know <clears throat> and its orientation is like this and uh, usually i you can go with resolution 72 pixels per inch but if you want some of, but if you want this printable go with 300 or even more because it's going to give you a higher quality when you print. If you go with 72 pixels per inch, it's going to look very pixelated if you if it's going to be printed. So go with 300, 600, maybe even a thousand if you, if, you, if, you, if you feel like it. But don't don't go over, overboard with the pixel uh, with the pixel resolution thing here because if you go too much, it's going to the, the file size is going to be too large. It's going to take a while to process everything it's it's going to be it's going to give you a headache and so on so don't don't go overboard just select the like 300 600 it's, it's going to look nice if you print it now uh, you can leave 8, 8 bit on leave rgb custom uh, background content you can select whatever background you want we're going to go with white for now and uh, you have the color profile. You can select whatever you want, and pixel ratio. I, I leave on square on square pixels. It doesn't really doesn't really matter that much. And now we press create. Now, as you can see, I've we've done this uh, huge, huge background here. And uh, it's as you can see, we we're on zoom three three percent. If we zoom in a, a lot. We're not going to see a huge difference because there's nothing on yet. But it's it's really a huge canvas. Like I have this brush, 32 pixels, and you can and you can see it, but it's not really that. But it, they're not really that big. These brushes. But don't worry. But don't worry. This is not. This is not. We're not. We're not painting or anything. We're just making a a, a background. So it doesn't. So it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want in Photoshop, so, you know. Now let's leave this layer on, get a new one, and let's uh, let's go ahead with the with the mountain shape. Now the, re now the way you... I, I made the, follow the mountain path is uh, I went to... Pa I went to shape and I, I chose a fill and it chose like black color and we don't need strokes and now what what I did and what I did was first I, I created a a horizontal line 
where I want the horizon to be because I also added wa water and uh, you know to get the reflection and so on and I'm going to teach you how to get the reflection too don't worry yes yes don't don't you, you don't you don't care if it's going to be rasterized this is just like a horizon horizon line so it's going to help you where where you where you have the horizon it's not it's not it's nothing that extremely useful so don't worry about it now let's go ahead and select the mountain and create the mountain shape. Start somewhere outside the canvas, and then when you hold when you hold Shift, while while we've selected the while you have selected the pen tool, if you hold Shift and uh, press somewhere near here, it's going to automatically make uh, the the line go straight upwards. Or if you go a little bit tilted, uh, it's going to be in a straight 45 degree angle. It's to help uh, help you with uh, straight lines, but we're not going to go with straight lines. These are mountains, and mountains are majestical triangles. And and the way to do the triangles is basically to do the mountains to make them look semi-realistic. You have to go and make them make them a little bit jagged. Don't go if you if you don't go like this like you have this mountain going in this ang uh, at this angle and then you go like this like s like back a little bit with the triangle it's not going to look very realistic but don't worry if you if you do a mistake like this you don't have to worry you can just drag this shape around a bit and the way to do it is you when you have the pen tool selected hold control and it will change the mouse to this little, little mousey and you can just select the point and drag it around it's that simple if you want to add another point just hold shift you don't even have to hold shift just press and it will add another point and then you can change it however you want you can make the mountains look as realistic or as fake as you want. I prefer a um, semi-realistic look, but if you want the mountains to be more uh, fantasy-like with uh, stro with different slopes, uh, strokes, or whatever you whatever you want, whatever your imagination tells you to do, do it. It's isn't it's not wrong. I mean, if it's not nothing is nothing is wrong actually. You can do whatever you want with with this. So don't blindly just follow what I'm doing here with the mountains. Don't just blindly follow what I'm doing. Just do do whatever you want. Do whatever you feel like. I'm just giving you an example of what you can do. I'm not telling you to follow me exactly how I do because I know that I'm not doing a perfectly good looking mountain. I'm just doing I'm just doing random stuff right now. So do, so you can do do random stuff you, you as well. I mean Take, take your time, take your time, do 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 a good mountain, or don't take your time and do a, a random mountain and see what you see, see what you can do. Maybe maybe it will turn into a very very good looking mountain. Who knows? And there you go. Then you close the shape. What I did here was hold shift here uh, until my cursor touches the horizon line that we created, and then I hold shift and select selected this point here and the reason is i holding shift is because this line is going to go straight across even if i like move this mouse a little bit down or or, or up but yeah it's 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 still it's, it doesn't matter because it's still when you press this when you press here and you have this little circle on around the mouse it's still going to close the the shape how it is so you don't have to hold shift <laughs> but, but i'm so used to holding shift so yeah now we don't know uh, now we can leave the horizon on don't re don't forget to rename those uh, those layers horizon horizon <laughs> uh, and this is shape is going to be mountain one there you go now you can what you can do if you are if you feel a little bit lazy you can either go ahead and copy this layer with control J and then press control T and you can move it around a little bit like we can move it a little bit upwards and what this will do i'll show you 
every new mountain you create, you have to put underneath mountain one, underneath mountain one, because they they need to be behind the this mountain if you want to get the perspective right, uh, what, to make it look good. Now let's see. Let's. Uh, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to show you this. I'm. Not, I, yeah, we can rasterize this because I'm, I can go back. And now we can uh, go ahead and select a G on our keyboard, which is paint, which is the, the paint bucket. And select like a color like blue, paint this mountain like this. And select a darker blue and paint this mountain like this. Now this is what going to do, what's going to do, what's going to happen if you copy the mountain and just paste it over. It's going to look exactly the same. Just a little bit further away and a little bit differently co colored but that's 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 what's going to happen if you want to you can if you if you were smart and you made your uh, mountain larger than the uh, than the can than the canvas you can reshape it a little bit and make it look a little bit different <laughs> but but you know usually um, the point uh, to the point to this is is it's not going to look good if you just copy this, uh, copy and paste this. What you have to do is basically create a new, a new mountain all over again. And this time we're going to select a different color for this one, like red, so we so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to go ahead and and create another shape. Now I'm not going to be very uh, very good with this one. I'm just going to do it extremely fast. I like straight lines. If you if you want to, you can add those uh, slopes to, to your mountains. They they would they will look extremely good on on mountains because mountains are not just straight lines. They are slopes. They are triangles. They are mountains are beautiful. There we go. We don't have to make the shape. There we go. Another one. Let's create another mountain. And let's give this another color so we can see what we're doing. Like, like let's go with this one. And let's go ahead and make another mountain. We're going to make... We're going to make four mountains. I mean, if you don't like mountains, you can do this with trees. If you don't like mountains a lot, but I like both. I like trees and mountains. I grew up on a, I grew up with a a lot of mountains in my life. So that's why I I, re, I like mountains and that's why I'm doing the mountain thing. <clears throat> and let's select another another color for a, for the la, for the last mountain. And you can go ahead and make the mountains look obviously however you want. Like I've mentioned at the beginning. There we go. And mountain free. Damn it. And mountain four. There we go. Now you can see we've done a pretty good job with this. It's not really like extremely well. But it's but it's okay, and obviously you can do with the shapes. You can do the mountains, like I said, however you want. The what I'm doing here is I'm not just showing you how how you can do it. I'm not telling you to do it exactly as I do. I'm telling you to see what I'm doing. Like I'm selecting the pen tool and I'm doing the shape thing, and I have the fill, and I'm just putting random like lines to make to make the, the mountains look something like mountain. And you can do the same, or if you want to, uh, and you can do the shape exactly like I do, or you can just feel, be creative and do the, a shape however you want. I'm not telling you to follow me exactly. Come on, have fun with this. It's not. It's. I'm not like a teach. I'm not like a teacher that's that's going to be like, oh, you don't follow exactly how I do. You don't solve this this question exactly how I told you to. You're you're the worst student ever. I'm not. I'm not your teacher. I'm just. Random dude on the internet. 
So, this is going to be it for this part, creating shapes, because we've, uh, we run 15 minutes and I don't want this to get boring. So, thank you so much for watching, and if you want to follow me on the next part where, we, where we'll do... Uh, I, I don't know yet, but we'll, do, we, we'll figure out something. <laughs> so see you in the next part. Have a, have a good one. Bye-bye.